Hello everyone, welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host and it is a wonderful Monday. I don't know about y'all, but I ain't never seen this Monday before, so I am extremely grateful just to be able to see this Monday because I ain't never seen this one before, okay? And you should have that same grateful attitude because you have not seen this day either, yes. So we're going to get off into this live, y'all. I had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I love to come back and tell you all that I really had a great weekend. Yes. So um, what prompted this live was two things. Um, but it all, uh, all happened at one event. So this Friday, my husband and I, we went to the Silly Rabbit Comedy Club here in Baton Rouge. If you have not checked out the Silly Rabbit, make sure you go and check them out. It is a new comedy club that we have here in the great city of Baton Rouge, owned by Sid and Lisa. Um, but anyway, uh, there was this trending post going on about uh, how many drinks should you have when you go on dates, right? And I thought about this because I saw people talking about it throughout the week. But when I looked at our table that we were sitting at, it was just me and my husband. The table was full of drinks, like... The bartender literally had to come and retrieve her glasses. We had so many drinks, like drink drinks. And I drink beer. I drink Corona. So that was, that was beer and all this. So I'm just like, Lord, if I had to go out and just like really be a lady, I only have one drink. I don't necessarily know. And I'm not saying that I have to have alcohol to have a good time. But you know, when you in certain settings and you enjoy yourself, you want to enjoy yourself without feeling like you got to put a lot of limitations on yourself. So, y'all let me know. When you are dating someone, um, what what's the limit on the drinks? Because I ain't dated in like 23 years. So, you know, when me and my husband go out, we go out to have a good time. So, we enjoy each other and we enjoy whatever we're doing. And it ain't necessarily the, uh, the whole intro type of thing. And of course, you know, we could drink and we're we going to go home and work that shit off each other and, you know... All of that kind of stuff. But, <coughs> excuse me. For those of y'all who are newly dating, of course you don't want to, you know, come off in the beginning like a drunk. Quite naturally. Um, and, of course, you want to make sure that you maintain and control at all times. But I'm like uh, one of my Facebook friends, Tamika Robit. The more and more I get to looking at the stuff that's going on with the people out here that's dating right now, it make me appreciate my, my marriage a whole lot more because we ain't got to do all that. <laughs> so I just wanted to get, I just wanted to say that because, you know, every day I find another reason to be thankful for my husband and thankful for our marriage because I don't want to have to do all that. I want to be able to go and enjoy myself and not having you thinking I'm a lush because I'm drinking more than two drinks because the, my, like I said, our table was full. But anyway, <laughs> Excuse me. During the show, one of the comedians got up and he talked about having sex with a, a middle-aged woman and how she make you turn that fan off. Y'all, I fell out laughing. I I it was like I laughed so hard because one thing about comedy, a lot of times there's an element of truth to it, right? And for me, uh, uh, the way our light switches are, there's a switch for the light and then there's a switch for the ceiling fan. And sometimes when Spencer comes in, he just flick it and it ends up turning both of them on. So that means the ceiling fan is going. I'll be like, hey, turn that fan off. Turn, turn that fan off. Because what I know is being a middle-aged woman and my body is starting to go through certain changes, that fan going to drive me out. And... When you are having sex with women, middle-aged women, we could start off wet, 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 wet. But you turn that ceiling fan on and it's going to completely dry us up. In other words, you're going to turn that waterfall into a desert real, real quick. And let me say this. You know, a lot of times I put things out there um, as a way to educate. But what we have to stop doing, one, men, what you have to stop doing is Acting as if you know a woman's body better than we know our body. So when a woman is giving you the game about our body, especially those of us that are starting to go through the change of life, meaning menopause, 
We telling you, because the thing is, we ain't got a river flowing like we had when we were 16, 17, 18, 21 years old. Our body is changing, right? So that means we're not producing as much as moisture as we used to. Now, y'all know, I tell y'all, lubricant is your friend. I, I use lubricant absolutely every time I have sex, a good quality silicone lubricant. That's what I use. Um, and mine is in a big bottle with the pump on it. I, I ordered the, the, the big, um, want to say it's like a 32 ounce bottle. And that normally lasts us a, a good amount of time. So I'm saying all that to say, a lot of times, a lot of you get offended when women use lubricant because you feel like she not turned on for you, which is a myth. That's not true. It's just that her body's going through the change. Try to educate y'all on that too. And then you feel like I'm hot, I'm sweating, I need the fan. So I'm telling you what you need to do for the woman that you with. But at the same time, you'll say, oh, I know women that don't have that problem. Well, the thing is, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's just that at some point in life, every woman is going to experience this type of change. So when you start experiencing it, you know what's going on. I had so many women who commented, Sharonda, I thought I was crazy. Like, I really thought that I was the only one that experiences it. No, you're not the only one that experienced vaginal drying when a fan is on. And I'm talking about, a, I don't even own a stand-up fan, a box fan, a fan on a nightstand. I don't even own one of them. But one of those type of fans and a ceiling fan, that's going to completely put you out of commission. You ain't going to be able to do nothing. And the thing is, we want sex to be enjoyable. We do not want sex to be painful. You know, we want to be able to enjoy it too. So the thing is, what you can do is turn your central unit on low. If you got a window unit, you can turn it on. It's the fan that will dry us out, okay? And even if you have a central unit and it's blowing on you in a certain type of way, sometimes you'll have to change position so that, that that air won't blow on you directly because it will dry you out. Another thing is, my ladies, y'all get on there, oh, I ain't never, I, oh, it's a river over here. And it's, this, and it's like, a lot of times when women start talking about the different things that we start to experience and we go through, as we get older, my response to y'all is, baby, just live. Baby, just live. All you got to do is live life. And you're going to experience everything that I'm talking about. Because it's a river today. But as you get older, that river is going to start to turn into a stream. All you got to do is live. And then you go to the teachings that I'm about to teach about the things that you can do to help yourself. But women have a way of wanting to one up themselves or elevate themselves and, and, you know, one up as a way to, oh, that's them over there. No, it's women across the board and we will all go through this change. We will all go through this same experience. All you got to do is live. So to the men, when a woman is trying to tell you about her body, listen, she's telling you about her body. I know that fan got to be turned off or it ain't going to be no action. Yeah. I know that I may be turned on, but I may not be getting as wet as I would like to get. So I got to use some lubricant. Stop taking everything from a negative approach because, you know, one man said, oh, well, she can get dry. I'm going to get down there and eat it back. And that's great. I, I love that for you. I love that you get down like that. I think it's awesome. But the thing is, you got a lot of women that's not dealing with men who are necessarily interested in pleasing them. So they're not getting that. So that means that I got to teach all of this. Yeah. Some men, they'll eat it in the beginning, but they're not going to fuck you and then eat you midway through. But then you got some men that do. And I, I think it's awesome. But the thing is, I've dealt with so many couples, so many, you know, I've, I've just dealt with so much. So I know that everybody's bedroom is not the same. And some people don't do oral at all. And some people don't even have the money to come and invest in these type of products. So I try to touch all the way across the board. Because you may have a woman and she does not have lubricant at home. Right? And she got the fan going, well, baby, you can, you know, y'all, you can create your own vaginal lubricant, but you can turn that fan off and it's going to help you. Okay? 
All right, so two enhancers that we can take for vaginal dryness and that will basically help us to become as wet as a river, Niagara. It has two pills in the pack. And then we have WAP, wet ass pussy. Both of these help with vaginal dryness, okay? Awesome, awesome products have been on the market for a very long time. Niagara have been on the market way longer than WAP, but we do have both of them at the store. Then, I know y'all remember me advertising Wet Elite about a couple of years ago. Wet Elite was the shit, right? Well, Wet Elite has actually changed its packaging and now it is Wet Gold, okay? So you have the silicone and then you have the gold and then you have another one that is the platinum. The platinum is water-based. The gold is in between. Am, am I saying it right? Yeah, you have the silicone, the gold, and the platinum. Well, we carry the gold in the store, which is replaced with Elite, which is a hybrid, meaning it's a water base with a touch of silicone. And it's gonna it's not as expensive as the silicone. And I ordered this one only because you get a better price break than ordering the pure silicone. I personally use the pure silicone, but I know people are not gonna pay $70 for that big pump bottle that I buy for myself. So I always make sure that I try to keep it cost effective. But one thing about it, if you want the big pump bottle, all you got to do is send me a message and I can send you an invoice. You can prepay for it. I can order it for you. But I try to make sure that I'm able to, you know, reach people in their uh, price range. So we have the gold hybrid here at the store. Mm -hmm. And again, you can use it with all of your toys. It cleans up really easy. It's not going to stain your sheets. And you don't have to keep reapplying it over and over and over again for sex. Some people love water-based. When I first started using lubricant, I would use water-based. Water-based is good to get you going. But the thing about water-based is over a period of time, it's gonna, you're going to have to keep reapplying it. So what I learned was if I use the silicone, I apply it one time. It's there. I don't have to keep reapplying it. We can have sex in the shower. It does not matter because the silicone ain't going nowhere unless you got some hot soap. And uh, a water, hot water and soap is the only thing that's going to get that silicone lubricant off of you. It's literally like a, um, it's like a protection barrier. It's a, it's like a real thick, I want to say greasy type of uh, lubricant, but it's a lot thicker than that water-based, completely different texture. I love the silicone, okay? But this one is a water-based with a touch of silicone, which has that same slick feeling but you, you get a better price break with this one. And then for my ladies who are extra, extra sensitive, everything bothers you. You cannot tolerate the silicone because I know everybody can't even tolerate the silicone. And that's another reason why I don't really push it in the store because today there are so many women with pH issues, meaning everything throws them off. Whereas, you know, and I'm not saying that this is the, the reason that I don't have the issue but my husband's pH doesn't throw me off. His semen doesn't throw me off. The lubricant doesn't throw me off. I try to eat a healthy, you know, diet. I try to make sure I get my yogurt in, my prebiotics, probiotics, all of this kind of stuff. But again, everybody does not have the same lifestyle, especially women with a lot of different sexual partners. They get all these different pHs introduced to them. And then they want to spray down with the Bath and Body Works. Then they want to bathe in this. Then they want to insert suppositories. And they want to do... So a lot of times their vagina is experiencing a whole lot of uh, inflammation because they doing too, too much different stuff to it. If that's the case and you always experience inflammation for one reason or another, I don't know, but we do have the organic and this is what it looks like now. They have changed the bottle. It has a little wooden top to it. And of course it has that it's glycerin free. That means it's free of all sugars and all of this kind of stuff like that. Um, this is going to be the most natural lubricant that you could purchase. So we do have both of these in stock in the store and they are both online as well. Um, if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe at this time. We have an awesome guest this week. We're going to be learning about the advancements that have happened for, um, the HIV medication. Y'all, this is going to be an extremely important live. Because even if we don't have the virus, we still need to know about the treatments. We, you know, in other words, this virus is here. So we need to learn everything that we need to learn about the virus, just like COVID. 
if you can seek with COVID now, they, they can prescribe you a pill for it. You know, we know about the shots. We know about all this different. In other words, medicine is just, it has just taken off, y'all. We, we getting all kind of cures for all kind of stuff now. But yes, make sure you log in this week. That live is going to be a really good live. The week after that, we're going to be touching on domestic violence. Um, and we'll be doing that particular live as well. So I think that is about it. Um, you know, I don't like to hold y'all long. Uh, oh, if you're interested in going to the uh, comedy club, the next show is at the end of the month. And they bring in, you know, out-of-town comedians. Um, I think it's like twice a month or something like that. Um, this Sunday is Resurrection Sunday. Y'all know the church house is going to be packed. Now, y'all, if you know me, them I, it's two Sundays that I do not attend most times. I don't attend Christmas. No, I'm sorry. I don't attend Mother's Day and I don't attend Resurrection Sunday. I, I, I let y'all have it because those are the days. Mother's Day, everybody like to go to church with their mama. Cool. Um, most times, I, my gift is always a trip somewhere, so I'm not even here to attend church. But Resurrection Sunday, baby, people who ain't you ain't seen all year long, they show up. So like I say, you know, y'all... If you haven't been, y'all have a, you know, go to, go to Resurrection Sunday. But that's that's just me. I don't I don't like attending when you can't even find nowhere to sit. So, but that's neither here nor there. So we got a lot going on this Sunday here that just passed was the Passover Sunday. Um, I'm just trying to think of what all we got going on. I think that is pretty much about it. I don't think we have anything else going on. Oh, um. We do have the licking rolls in stock. I thought, well, I had ordered the sucking rolls, but for whatever reason, the company sent me more of the licking roses. So they're going to be sending me some more sucking roses, and we should have them in this week. But we do have the, the traditional rolls in stock, and we do have the licking rolls in stock. And I think that is, I think that's about it. All right. Y'all enjoy the rest of the day.